Let's get to the meat of today's Straight. show. Girls, are you ready? I am yes. ready. Since Kukwa is here, and Kukwa is one fantastic creative filmmaker, as well as activist. I mean, the girl has a voice, mm -hmm. and it shows in all her work. I think it's a perfect time to talk about women in the film industry. Yeah. Ooh, Definitely. Kukwa's like, I'm ready. Uh, I'm let's ready do this. For this. Let's talk about that. Let's that talk one. about it, you know? Everybody says there's a disparity when it comes to sort of like, you know, the gender disparity when it comes to the film industry and uh, along with um, a lot of other um, sectors within the mm -hmm. country or within mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. When it comes specifically to the creative arts and film industry, though, I think you have a lot to say about that. But let's take it all the way back to how you started in this journey to even begin with. Yeah, I think I always say this in all my interviews. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, I think you have to be called. Um, ah. for filmmaking, mm. for storytelling. Mm. It can't just be something. I think pe other people can be like, oh, I'm interested, I want to dive into it. But it's such, um, um, it revolves so much around truth and passion and, you know, being authentic and being so real and, you know, mm -hmm. just um, vulnerable. Um, vulnerable, right? Mm. It has to come from within, right? Because you, you guys, watch, you watch films and you're Definitely. just like, my gosh, like, the story I can relate, I can see myself, it makes you cry. Sometimes you watch films and it changes your life, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I think for me, it was de it's definitely a calling. The call of that is, I, I believe it's a, it's a gift that God gave me. Yeah. You know, to the ability to tell stories that touch lives, you know, that makes people feel something inside yeah. of them. Yeah. So I've always been a creative. I didn't know I was a filmmaker, it's a process. Mm -hmm. um, I think when I was in high school in Ohio, um, I was a spoken word artist, so I just, you know, do spoken word. And then when I went to college, my professors were like, oh my gosh, you're an inc incredible writer, but everything I write is so poetic. So I was kind of like, you know, I was confused. Like every creative, you don't really know, because it's such a wide spectrum. You can be creative, but where do I belong, yeah. right? In the spectrum. Often at times, I think that's the struggle that most people have. And then I came to Ghana in two, 2017. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in a very, ooh, Bizarre way. It's so we can like get into the details, you know, the details of everything. But I grew up without um, my parents, oh. so I met my mom for the first time when I moved to Ohio, and that was in high school. So I was already kind of like, you know, like a teenager. Like I went to high school in Ohio, and my dad wasn't in my life. So you know how like it's just a lot when your parents don't raise you, when you're right. raised by someone. It's not the same thing, mm. you know. It's not the same thing anyway. So all that um, I did the film about my dad. In 2017, I wrote it, I shot it the next year, and then I was just like, oh my gosh, this is my calling. I feel so fulfilled. So many people come out to support this. The next year I make a film, um, Artist Act of Love, it wins 15 international film festivals, even in Hollywood. Oh, wow. And oh, I was wow. like, this oh, is wow. it. I was like, this is, I'm not doing much for this to happen. This, this has to be the grace of God. This is like, you know, the calling that God has. Cause I didn't, you know, I, I was like, I don't, I didn't go to school for film. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't know much. Of, at the time, I was like, I don't know much about film for this to be happening to me. Mm -hmm. So this is just God's grace, and this is my call. Mm -hmm. So since then, you know, it was, it's just been an amazing journey, just like growing into myself as a storyteller and a creative. So yeah, and then we're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> amazing. Do you really remember here. some of the first pieces or movies or content that really changed your life or really moved you? When I was young. Yeah. Um, the idea of just like, I, I guess we're going to get into that later, but the idea of just like, I, I, I call myself a visual communicator. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. kind of how my mind works. You know how like different people have different ways that they process things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So someone like me, I have to process everything in visuals. Mm -hmm. Like so when you speak, it's, if it's not, if a visual doesn't pop up, it doesn't make sense to me. Oh. Everything has to be like a recorded visual in my mind. Everything, like a dream. I'm always so, I'm having a dream 24 seven in my mind. Mm. But I think that, you know, it's just different ways of, yes. the way that we communicate in our heads, right? Mm. So just like any, when, when I was young, just watching anything that was just colorful and aesthetically strong and mm. beautiful, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I love, I don't know what it is, but I just love color. You know, ever since I was young. <laughs> we see like, that. <laughs> you don't have I'm to obsessed. tell us twice. Yeah. No. Obsessed. Every obsessed. time I see you, you are so colorful. It's yeah. like you cannot Very be missed bold. in a room. I, I, my, you should see my house. 
it's like like wow i don't even know how many colors i have maybe like <laughs> six it's crazy i'm telling you it's like mm. a little museum i love it <laughs> <laughs> i am i'm just mesmerized do you use shea butter oh that's what i use yeah. i mean my mom is like an organic freak uh -huh. so ever since i moved to ohio we've been so i've been using shea butter for the past like 14 years mm -hmm. yeah. that's the only yeah, thing i've used in my laughing. skin i've just been mesmerized <laughs> by the skin the whole oil. time I'm, i need the that's tips it. this is me thinking yeah. did you hear no chemicals she said it was no, just no, it's, 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 a a it's a bit difficult look at the beauty look mm. at the skin was color. giving her visual representation <laughs> see, i don't really see too many colors um in my own mind um, <laughs> can't really disclose too much what goes on um up there but it's you know i'm hoping to learn today this is you know sikes field as well so. yes it is it is it is it is, it is. It is. You know, so we're learning stop we're learning. it we're learning from you two I'm ladies stop it <laughs> But in terms of, you know, the inspirations as well, being young, did you find that there was anybody that um, you looked up to, anybody whose style in particular you like? This is just on screen and off screen. Yeah, yeah. Who are your influences? Um, I think, first of all, the, my biggest influence definitely comes from within because I think my, I'm here to do something new, different, fresh that hasn't been done the idea of like, we've already seen so much. The people that have gone ahead of me has made it possible for me to be here. And I always, you know, I will always honor the women, especially the Ghanaian women, like mm. Shelly Fimpa Manso and Leila Johnson, everyone in film, Mami Dokono, they have paved mm. the way for us to sit on the show yeah, right now. This like, is true. Those are the people that, you know, pay the price for us to come. So for sure, um, I think that they, they did what they could at the time, right? And then we take the button on and like, one with it. Yeah. Um, but I think that my biggest influence, definitely I would say it's like, it's because it's a gift, it's divine, it comes from inside. Like my inspiration, um, I used to be inspired by emotions, you know, being a woman, but I think as I evolve mm -hmm. um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, I'm just like, ah, oh, if this is a gift that God has put inside of me, then I'm gonna have to tap into the deepest part of myself, you yeah. know, yeah. to bring, to, to bring out the stories that needs to be told through this yeah. vessel. You know, but I mean, so many incredible filmmakers outside of Ghana too have inspired me. Um, Color Purple, oh my gosh, one of my favorite films mm. like ever. Heritage Africa, Kwan Sa. I mean, my gosh, I love that man. Oh, he is love brood in an African genius, part. Mm, genius, beautiful. genius, mm. genius. So there's there's been like inspirations along the way, um, but the biggest one definitely comes. It's it's it comes from God, divine. Mm. Right. Are we doing enough? <laughs> just in general because you know recently we've had the likes of Idris Elba in town um, yeah. Spike Lee was yeah. in town mm -hmm. and just kind of gauging the landscape is, is, is stuff really moving and shaking I can't tell is it you never know the politics why right, that goes yeah. is there a lot of politics yes. that goes on in the industry we There's know the politics that goes on in the in, in Ghana the world. In, yeah. everything everywhere yeah. especially when it comes to creative okay. I always say I'm like creative people are the most mm. amazing incredible like just loving passionate people I've ever met mm -hmm. but they're also the worst people I ever met in my life Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's, like, it's like the extreme. Cool. This, you know? one is, this one is loaded. This I one hope is you know that you're going to have no, to break it down No, it's not a specific thing, but I think uh -huh. that I'm only saying that because creatives, right, we carry so much. Mm -hmm. That's like, true. We're so passionate in everything we're doing. We're so extreme. Um, we're so, like, like, I want this, I want it now. And when you want something and you want it now, sometimes you're not thinking about the long-term effect. So a lot of creatives don't think about long-term. Does, like they... does that apply to you? Does, does this work bring out also some of your, your, not only your best, but your worst side? I think that when I was younger, but okay. I've been in a very specific journey of like just spiritual, emotional, mental growth. So I think that where I'm at right now is the most matured I've ever yeah. been. But some people can person. still get it if they step out of line. I mean, <laughs> let them know. Let them know, Kukwa. You know Don't be fooled. It's, 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 fool. it's a mature Kukwa with a spice, a little bit. Oh, a little yeah. bit of spice. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. spice, but hopefully nobody brings the spice yeah. out because you don't want it. You don't want the heat. We, we don't want, want the spice in the work that you do because I think that's, that's where it shines the best. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know because you are Ghanaian as well as American. Mm -hmm. When you merge those two cultures, I mean, how does that translate in the work? I think that for so long, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in limbo because I'm not Ghanaian enough. Because mm -hmm. literally, like, 
Do Same they make you feel that way oh, when yeah, you're absolutely. It's mm. like, oh yeah, you're not you're not Ghanaian enough. Like, you know, this whole thing about oh Obroni or like like you know, even sometimes my the family. Accent, hey, yeah. Obroni, yeah, Broni, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And I'm just like, I'm 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 so proud to be Ghanaian. Like I don't know, like I wore it so mm. I'm so ha I don't want to be anything else but an African woman. How powerful mm -hmm. and beautiful and like so like we're strong, we're gifted, we're grace. My goodness. Why would you want to be anything else yeah. mm. but a black woman? Mm -hmm. Aside oh. the politics and, you know, some of them not making you feel Ghanaian enough, are there some challenges that you face first as a creative and then moving into the filmmaking industry? Of course. I'm young, I'm woman, I'm boss. That's an issue for a lot of men. <laughs> that's a, they don't that's like that. Issue. That's hey, boss lady. And, and, and I had when to learn. When you say they, though, who is the they? Well, she said, well, I think you said you're, you're a woman, you're a boss, you're... She's young, young. she's woman, she's, she's boss. So all these three things uh -huh. are already like, oh, hell no. Like, how do you... So who has the most visceral reaction mm. to those three elements? I think that... Shake tables, shake tables. I don't... Say it. <laughs> I, I think that I don't want to, people are not reacting neg negatively to me because I'm the bad people, but they don't, it's a new thing. People are not used to new things. Mm. Change like, is hard to accept. It's hard. Very. So how are you young? How are you woman? How are you black? And then you two are, you come from somewhere else mm. to this country and you want to be boss. I mean, how, you know? So mm. I think that mm. the idea of like something new is what's difficult, not who I am. Okay. Mm. But I feel like that's why we're here, mm -hmm. right? To show like, <clears throat> we can be woman and yeah. boss and entrepreneur and like, you know, young and powerful and do things, right? So the challenge is that I'm, I'm a new thing mm -hmm. for, for most people. Mm -hmm. A few yeah. times I'm working with men who are older than me, right? Like we're hiring like over a hundred people for our production and 80% of them or 90% of them oh, are men, men older than me yeah. and, mo and sometimes even have more experience than me. So that's, that's hard, you know, for the yeah. male ego. To yeah. like, Do you find like, that when they have a question, they defer to, to the male man, yeah, before yeah, they absolutely. defer to you? Absolutely. Like, mm. I've had a production where um, the man will literally, like, go and have, like, a, my... The, the, you know, the cinematographers, they... Mm. Bound they, together. They went and had a meeting without me, and I was, I was like, I hired you. I, you're on the set because I hired you. Oh, like, they wanted to make decisions without you. Without Wonderful. technical decisions, and they got it and had a meeting So how did the me. spicy... Like, cool nine men standing... Oh, no, I literally just kind of, like, I dealt with it after. Because at the point, it's like, the client has... We need to... This has The happened. job needs to be yeah. done. My emotions are not more important than what needs to be done. I'm, yeah, you know, very point. like, no, no, we got to do this. So after, you know, I called this in my talk, and I was like, I don't like that you did that. That was... I don't think you're a bad person, but I think that you need to be self-aware. Mm. Because I know you're used to men, mm -hmm. and but I'm here. I'm a woman, I'm young, there's nothing no one can do about it. Oh, me. I like that. I know you're used to men, but I'm here. I'm here I'm now. I'm here. So let's adjust. Boss. Let's adjust. Yeah. Yeah. Let's adjust. Meantime. You know, I was going to just piggyback off that and just ask yeah. if sometimes those situations take you out of your feminine zone into a more masculine, like you feel like you need to tap into some sort of masculinity to be able to deal. Because I've been on a Shirley from Pomanza set, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I realize that she just needs to switch it up to yes. let the people yes. know I can relate. who's I can boss really relate. on the set. And sometimes yeah. I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, you and have there's to, a very fine you know, balance between yeah, both yeah. sides. But for somebody who is so such a big advocate of female empowerment mm -hmm. and activism about you know equality and gender yeah. equality, do you sometimes feel like they just take you out of that feminine space and make you, you know? I think that's the thing, though. I think that what is being feminine, right? Because for me, it's like fem feminine can be a boss, can be soft, can be sweet can also stand my ground, right? Because I feel like the whole idea of like having to be a boss is kind of like, oh, you're mean, girl. Like you have to be mean or arrogant or prideful. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, 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 there's a balance to everything. So for me, it's like, I'm, I remain feminine, but I'm, I'm a very confident woman. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very dominant person. Like I know I'm very solid in what I want. So mm -hmm. I will let that know, you know, but yeah. I don't think I have to tap into masculine energy. I'm just yeah. like, I'm tapping into my family, feminine and that's boss, boss enough. energy. <laughs> and that's good enough to know. Yeah. Is that what Wizkid be... loved about you? <laughs> yeah, tell us about that. When he gave you that call and said, I need <laughs> you do this. to direct the I short need film. You on this project. Yeah, that was um, interesting. So yeah, Wiz, Wiz is, he's an incredible person. Um, I think we have a, you know, a creative connection. Mm. Well, 
we a lot of the conversations were around his dining table in his house mm -hmm. like we we've had to like have lunch, you know, with Jada, with Wiz, and talk over and over again. How many Couple floors is that house? It's not so easy. She just drops that with Jada, with Will. Yeah, you <laughs> know, it's like a casual... <laughs> because it was very casual at the time, was, you know. It, it, how it many was... floors? How many floors is the house? <laughs> I'll tell you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I know that dining table is bigger yeah. than this one. It is a huge, really nice dining okay. table, but, um, yeah. So it happened, you know, like, just like a couple months before we shot. It had to be a thing where, because he was just looking for the right. Because it was an entire album. I don't want to be wrong, but mm -hmm. I, I think we're the first to do that. Like an album, yes. Afrobeat album film yes. in Africa. Mm -hmm. So Probably. that was most like, likely, right? Yeah. 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 So that was like um, yeah. a lot of work because it was an entire album made in Lagos Deluxe. Mm -hmm. So that was beautiful. I'm, I'm glad that we got to create that. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Well, See. my boo, Idris, mm. Idris Elba, he's Your been boo? in town. No, my boo. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's a lot of not get into <laughs> Whoever's boo. My, our yeah. boo. Everyone else's boo. Well, yeah. he's been in town recently. I know I spoke about Spike Lee. Um, and also, uh, Oscar winner. Mm. What's her name? Escape Lee. Um, was, she, was she Cheryl? Cheryl Lee Ralph. She's an Emmy winner. Emmy winner. Emmy yeah. winner. Yeah. Emmy yeah. winner. She's also Emmy. been in town. So we've had some big stars, yeah. um, you know, around trying to revive, energize the industry. What do you think is, is it's going to take? Do we need more of outside influence coming to ginger us or from within? What do you think can be done to, to make things, you know, progress some more? Yeah, definitely. I think that our power as filmmakers, as creative, is, in, is here. It's inside of us. No one from outside. I think that the idea of exposure and the idea of, like, community building and mm. uniting and coming together, it's mm -hmm. powerful. Yeah. But if we don't first recognize what we have within. as creative mm -hmm. within, Definitely. on the continent, in Ghana, and say, because I'm here, I am making my, like, I'm, we're premiering uh, um, Born of the Earth, the film I just did, uh, for the fourth time mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. This is not me. They're the ones saying, Cook, what can you come and put? We did it in New York, we did it in Chicago, in Detroit. And now I'm going to Columbus to premiere it for time, wow. you know, this wow. year. Yeah. Because when wow. you talk about resources and money and stuff, yeah. it seems like, you know, we need to, like, tap in and reach out to the, to the Western world. Yeah. And I get that. But also, like, do we believe in ourselves? And are we confident in what we're doing? Yeah. And, you know, like, what is I, the, your identity rooted in as a creative? Yeah. And people can see that. You can't fake that. No, not yeah. at all. Me, I believe in you. We Thank you, do. I believe. I also want Jesus to believes in me. You can cast us. You guys should see your show. We are on our humble. You can, and I, I, you can cast I am, us. We believe in you. We believe in color. Thank you. Thank color, you. color for life. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Such an interesting <laughs> conversation. We have so much more coming with a beautiful Kukwa. So let's take a quick break, guys. Yes, let's um, do it. And that. we'll come back and continue. You're watching The Lady Circle here on TV3. <laughs> <laughs> 